Ikea, Ikea pets. pets behind the scenes. is a little project that I did with my friends Evan and Mina. We were just random bored creative people <laughs> and we wanted to all do a project together. The idea was to take items from IKEA stores and to basically IKEA hack them into various objects that you would see like in a doll's house or something like that. Putting on the lights. All of the lights, all of the lights. I really love puppets and building things and making stuff out of found objects or cheap objects. And I also really like this blog about IKEA hacking. And so what if we made an entire puppet show with little shorts about the IKEA animals built only out of IKEA products? Me, Evan, and Mia, we would all meet at IKEA and kind of just browse and kind of come up with the stories as we were looking at the items. Popular song we would find a little liquid bottle and be like, oh, this could be like a booze bottle, or oh, this cup is really great, this could become a lamp somewhere. I remember for the Fox dinner, we took kids' plastic plates and we flipped them and we turned them into a dinner table for the foxes. We also took some picture frames and turned them into window frames. We were able to sort of use what we found and that was really a thing that um, that I believe in doing with art, you know, taking limitations, and that Mia really wanted to get across that anybody could do this. We can keep this for now and see what happens. Yeah, let's see. I'll write it down. So uh, we got our haul, and we're about to put some stuff together. We spent about $40 between three people. Yeah. I believe that anyone can make a puppet or make a creative project with basically no money. And that was what I really liked about IKEA hacking in general too, is that you can take things from around the house and you can create something out of it and give it life that it never had before. So after we went to IKEA and got our objects, we would take them all back to Mia's apartment and sort of clear a large space. We had to make a wall, which we made out of an IKEA box that we found by the dumpster, so it was all still IKEA products. That is a giant box of cardboard right there yeah. that you are pulling things out of. And then we dressed that to be the walls of our sets. My favorite thing was making the severed mouse head box dinner. Aren't things like cuter when they're Yes. <laughs> it was the first set we made, so I think our other sets actually turned out prettier and we got them done a lot faster, but that first set we made with the Fox's Dinner and trying to make it look like they had wine and putting a little broccoli and everything and then just like discovering how to make that mouse head look gross. That was my favorite. And after that we kind of had to jerry-rig the puppets in strange ways. Very sophisticated. <laughs> Uh, methoding was used to control these puppets, uh, like sometimes we would just have to kind of angle our hands so it wouldn't be seen and just kind of maneuver um, the panda or the rabbit or whatever the animal was for the scene. I also recall at some point we just had to poke a hole in the animals and like use chopsticks to kind of maneuver their hands. So yeah, real cutting edge stuff. <laughs> this is just the craziness that happens <laughs> after you've been manipulating puppets for a while. Evan's just by himself. We just oh, came to walk in. And uh, it's all becoming a reality. I can't do anything right. <laughs> we, it was great. The whole process usually only took about two days for each episode, uh, maybe even a day for some. And then by the end of it, we had all this footage of little uh, cute Swedish animals um, running around in a tiny set. Once we had all the footage, Evan graciously edited together the scene um, and we would put in the little subtitles. So we looked up, we figured because it's Ikea, they're Swedish, but none of us speak Swedish. At first we were just going to do gibberish, but we found a translator online that uh, we put in the words. It, it spit out some sentences that may or may not be grammatically correct. Uh, and we listened to it like one time, and then we had Evan <laughs> try to imitate it, probably butchering it greatly. Bad. Your mama do it. I 
really appreciate that we were able to make some strange metaphors and stories of the adult world and put them into this cute world of tiny plush toys. I feel like these are relatable because they're so sad and awkward and those kinds of situations need to be explored more and explored through comedy and a great way to do that is by you know making the characters Ikea toys. <laughs>